brothers and sisters, this evening I just want to uh, share with you from the heart, as part of the Heart to Heart series, a very simple message, Value Divine Connections. Three words, three words that are loaded with meaning. Value Divine Connections. Everything the Lord will do for us in this earth dream is going to be a function of a connection Everything, everything, there'll be either destiny helpers who are going to open door for us, people who used to connect us to other people, people who used to support us, help us, people who used to, you know, empower us, encourage us, people who used to challenge us, people who used to train us, check it through from the day of birth till the day of death. Life is about connections, whether it's marriage, whether it's family, connections. The question is, what do you do to the connections? The Lord wants us to value divine connections. Value divine connections. Take them seriously. Value a connection the Lord brings you into. Don't be among the number of people who are casual about connections. And that means what affects people should affect you. You know, when people are rejoicing, rejoice with them. When people are in sorrow, you know, be in pain with them. Have empathy. Have empathy to relate with people on the basis of what matters to them, you know. And by the grace of the Lord, this is part of what we must understand. Much as we're going to do missions in different parts of the world, let's also understand that within the body, there are people the Lord has connected us with, you know, they play a role in our life. They are interceding for us. They are praying for us. Or they, the Lord uses them to empower us with revelation. Or whatever thing it is, but it's a divine connection. The starting point is design your divine connections. Design those the Lord has brought into your life to add value to your life. Uh, those the Lord has brought into your life that you will be the vessel he used to add value to their life. Whichever way it is, the law of responsibility is about, you know, designing, knowing who you are connected with. Then secondly, invest in it. Investment may be something as simple as, you know, being there for one another, you know, when they are celebrating, you are there with them. If anything happens in the family, you are there with them. We, when we begin to live this way, love will have meaning. Love remains a vague concept until it's broken down to the practical things we do to foster relationship. So value divine connections. Value every connection the Lord brings you into. You will never decrease, but you only increase. But then the Lord doesn't want us to be like people who, you know, want everything microwave right, right now, right now. Divine connections maybe with people who it takes years for what the Lord has ordained to do in our lives will begin to be made manifest. And so by the grace of the Lord, you know, this is something I just want you to reflect, take home to the bank and just think about it. How are you valuing the connections? That spouse, those parents, those children, the Lord gave to you, those friends, those destiny helpers, how do we value them? Let's not be among the number that there's a tribe in Africa. It was said of that tribe, they would never say anything good of anybody or visit or do anything. But the day somebody dies, they come there and tell you what that person meant to them. They will say powerful words. Then you ask yourself, why couldn't these words have been said in the lifetime of that person? And you know what? Brothers and sisters in the kingdom, we are people who follow the pattern set by our Father in heaven. Elohim is a relational God, the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Relational, from ages past to ages present to ages to come. They agree on all things, and they introduce us to the concept of the God who is us, the God who is relational, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are one God, in essence, the three in personhood, and they are always in agreement. Brothers and sisters, we who are human beings, we need to value relationships. It's very important. Value them. Invest in them. It's going to pay off. The Lord loves us, and that's why he's given us all these nuggets of truth. 
you know, this weekend, uh, by the grace of the Lord, at the start of the European Strategic Mission, uh, Pastor John and Shu in uh, Cork, and me, you know, we flew in, he from Cork Island, me from London, UK. We came to be with Apostle Patrick Keshi, the president of IMF IE Italy, uh, who this weekend, he was celebrating his 55th birthday, and his wife, he and her were celebrating their 20 years in marriage. You know, we came to be with them. And after that, they will go on the mission to different European cities the Lord has led us to. They are strategic, so it's not something we're going to talk about right now. But let Apostle John share with you, you know, what he experienced there at the birthday and anniversary of Apostle Keshi. Apostle John. Thank you very much, Apostle. Thank you, listeners and our viewers all over the world. It was a great day to see our brother happily married for 20 years, happily staying with the Lord for 20 years in marriage, also seeing how the Lord has taken him for 55 years. It was a great place to be. Friends came, work people came. The testimonies were so wonderful. And when I heard him talk to the wife of the love that they have come together, the journey of their love, I shared tears. Where are we going? Can we not tell one another, I love you? Our brother stood forth for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, telling the wife how much the wife means to him, how the wife has carried him for the journey, and the wife responding, you were also there for me. So we just thank God that when we come to areas and see what is going on, we like to share with others. For you to understand that you are not the only one going through difficulties. But once you stay with the Lord, and in the final word, they said, our anchor is the Lord. Mm -hmm. That was the final statement, that our anchor is the Lord. That's what I took from it, sir. Yes, and that's a very interesting angle. Yes, the anchor is the Lord. And basically, I don't know about you, where you are, learn to value relationships. One of the ways you can value relationships is it, to be there for people when they have, have cause to celebrate, when they have cause to do or go through any experience. You know, at the end of the day, the network the Lord is building is a relational one. It's not organizational. You know, the International Ministers Fellowship, for instance, the network is not a network of churches. It's a network of individuals, individuals, ministers, connecting heart to heart to be able to encourage and, uh, and, and enjoy the, 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 the relationship with each other. And my brother Apostle Patrick and his wife, they are the president of IMF, International Ministers Fellowship in Italy, and the Global School of Ministry, they are the directors of Global School of Ministry in Italy, and even the Africa Transformation Network, they coordinate it also. So that's really very, very, real, real relationship. We value it enough to fly in to be with them. And that's why, uh, one of the reasons why the, perhaps the most progressive community in Africa, the Yorubas of Western Nigeria, uh, you know, over the years I've observed them, people who got to know in primary school, they are 30, 40, 50 years later, they are still close friends. They value their relationship. They introduce their relationship to their children and on and on, and they have this connection that makes them to travel, to be there with one another. And if it could be so for a people naturally, how much more those of us who are in the kingdom? Let's learn to value relationships. And you know what? We lose nothing. We gain all by the grace of the Lord. Value relationships. You can take that to the bank. It will never fail you. Value relationships. Invest in relationships. Practicalize it. And by the grace of the Lord, you will be the one who will enjoy the fruit of the relationship. The Lord is, uh, is here for his people. Uh, do you want something else to say to the people? Yes, I just want to tell them that the Lord is there for all of us. You know, Apostle, what I have been going through and looking at is about the kingdom culture. You know, we grew up, all of us, up to 30, 40 years in the worldly culture where we compete. 
So you want your child to be the first in class always. But when you come to the kingdom culture, it's a culture of complimenting. So you cannot compliment somebody you don't love. So that's why the kingdom culture basically comes about complimenting one another. And it has gone so far that we are seeing it. So most of us who are in the Christian dom, we have not dropped out the worldly culture. We are in the kingdom of God with the worldly culture. So we are asking the Lord and all of us to continue to press on to encounter Jesus and get that culture of the kingdom so that we can complement and relate with one another. Amen. Thank Amen. you so much. And brother, sister, remember, it is wonderful that the Lord himself is a relational God. He, you could see him go to the house of Lazarus, Mary and Martha. You could see him go to have dinner with people. You could see him relate with people. He didn't just come down from heaven and have an attitude that he was up there and others were down there. He related. He ate with them. He was very, very involved with people in their day-to-day -day life. And on that note, I want to thank every one of you for listening. The Lord bless you indeed. We're going to be uh, posting the videos, some videos we took, you know, put it together into a college and let you have access to this wonderful time we had with the brethren and with one another in Padova, Italy. That's the Lord's doing. Thank the Lord for the opportunity. And Apostle John, thank you for coming all the way from Cork Island. You know, uh, leave your family back. And we bless the Lord for that sacrifice. Amen. Amen. Thank you also, Apostle, for having me to be around you. I Amen. don't take it lightly. Okay, let's pray. Brothers and sisters, if you need a touch of the Lord, I want you to stretch your hand and let's pray for you. Father God, your people have had your word about valuing relationships. Father, anyone who is asking how, Lord, do something. Touch them. Great, create a bond of empathy between them and and the target of your love, that they will be empathic, and they will connect, and they will be there for one another. Let your name be honored and glorified, Father, in Yeshua Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. Amen. Thank you so much for being with us on this program and watching, and we believe you learned something, and the Lord bless you. Now it's time to connect with us on our social media platforms. We have a daily live stream on Facebook, Monday, all the way to Sunday, every day, by about 10.30 a.m. UK time. And that's the same at Nigerian time. And you, it's either Apostle George, Monday to Friday, uh, to Thursday, Pastor Grace, uh, Friday to Sunday. And then in the evening of Sunday, we have two sessions from 5.30 to about 6, after 6, another one up to 7. So please join us on the live stream and you're going to enjoy it. We also visit our website, www.gsom.ac to download free ebooks. This course you just listened to, all these lessons, you know, there's an ebook we have free of charge. Everything we do is free. But more importantly, you can actually do your program on, you know, ebooks. You can do your program entirely on ebooks and with this video or anyone you want you can also if you want to do the yes course or be, do the master class you can go to www.kingdomboostclub.com and you can subscribe so that you can do it you can also subscribe to our channels this youtube gsom.tv and we also have a telegram channel gsom media you can send us an email at akclife.tv at gmail.com we love you dearly and we want to partner with you to make sure that the body of Yeshua, Jesus, is empowered with truth. Remember, it is the teach, train, equip, activate, and release paradigm. Absolutely free of charge. Have a blessed day and we'll see you again soon.